the 1990 governor's election in Alaska is got to be one of the weirdest elections in American political history. It was weird. While his ambition for the governorship had never waned, if you look at the history, Wally was a candidate for governor in 1952, 1956. Uh, he won in 1966. He was a candidate in 1974, candidate in 1978, candidate in 1986, candidate in 1990. Wally and the governorship of Alaska is like a, a long, delayed, and protracted, and on again, off again love affair. That 1990 gubernatorial election was, was rock and roll. It was just amazing. When Wally realized that neither uh, Tony Knowles nor Arlister Jalewski was going to deliver what he considered necessary for Alaska, he had to find a way to run. And the only spot that he could do was to get the man who'd run on the independence ticket and had won the nomination to step aside and the Independence Party would choose Wally Hickel. At the end of breakfast, Wally said to me, he said, Meet, I got this crazy telephone call this morning. Uh, they will put me on the Alaska Independence Party ballot by five o'clock today uh, if I decide I want to be on the ballot and run for governor right now. And uh, I said, wow. There was more and more momentum. People were coming into the office. They were saying, you know, Wally, you've got to do it this time. We've, we've got to have your kind of strength and vision in the governorship right now, because we're, we're, we're treading water. And um, uh, uh, all kinds of people started putting pressure on Wally not to run, including the White House. The president's chief of staff, John Sununu, called just within hours of the deadline of whether you could file to run in the general election uh, for governor, and Sununu came on real strong. Sununo was just ranting on Hickel and said, and if, and Wally, if you run for governor, you're never gonna get that gas pipeline. Wally was so ticked that he would threaten with something like that, which was, it was not in, you know, it wasn't about him, the gas line, it was, it was about America and Alaska, that he said, John, if I'm, uh, uh, if I run and I win, I can be tough too, and he slammed the uh, 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 phone down. And Ermalee turned to Wally and said, Wally, you've got to go. You've got to run. You have to go. I was bossy. Wally could have de decked him if he'd gotten close. And he says to the group in the room, I have never, ever, ever, been talked down to like I was in that phone call. They are treating us in Alaska like a colony, like they can call the shots. I have to run. And there was something like two hours left. A couple of uh, his friends got him into a car, raced down to the elections office. They signed the paperwork. And five weeks later, he was elected governor on a third party ticket. <laughs> And Wally, I remember, famously said after us, well, he had never read the platform, he said. <laughs> Hickel said he didn't want to secede from the United States. But he was so eager to be governor that he ran on the Alaska independence platform, even if he said, you know, he never read their party platform. So, but he, he won it, you know, he did it. Did it his way. 